Hello and welcome to another StarCraft II commentary video with Gom Jabbar. This is going to be a Protoss versus Protoss matchup on Metalopolis. My opponent is Nubbin, the red Protoss at the right, and I am Gom Jabbar, the blue Protoss at the left. Um, so I guess, well, I don't know if this particular uh, episode or, sh or video has a, a theme as such, but uh, we're going to look at... Um, this game and just sort of check it out and it'll be awesome. So pretty standard stuff uh, for the opening. No one's gonna cheese in this. Um, yeah, it's not a whole lot to say. I'm gonna set the times four until we get to the good stuff. I put my buildings up here so I can see any uh, cannons that are really threatening. And I'm scouting around my base. I make my gateway on 12 and then scout out um, for PvP only. I think that that's pretty good. I probably should have checked back here, but whatever. He's not actually doing anything. And I'm getting a gas. Uh, this is a, an important thing. I'll slow it down, I guess. Um, my second... For, for my pylon placement in PvP... Um, what's killed me a lot is having too many pylons, like, over here, and then he's cannoning, like, down here, and I missed it, and I can't put a cannon over here, even if I react with a forge. So I like to have good can or good uh, pylon placement so I can potentially make a cannon anywhere around my base if I have to. Uh, I go two gateways before any units. This is for my three stalker rush. My opponent's actually doing the same thing, which is great, it's fine. And I notice he actually takes his second gas a little early. Um, I don't usually start until after my stalker gets started, but it's not actually a big deal for me. I mean, we, it's it was almost exactly the same time. And now I spot this really quick robo before any units at all. Um, so I think that's a mistake by Nubbin, and that is probably what cost him this game, just, just doing this. Um, you don't want to let me see what tech route you're going in PvP. Um, if you let the other guy see what tech route you're, you're going, he can immediately make the counter to that, because it's kind of rock, paper, scissors, between, you know, Twilight, Council, Robo, and Stargate. And, um, he is making those stalkers, uh, actually a zealot, but I would like to see, uh, I, I think it would have been better if he had done what I do, which is, I guess that's a little arrogant to say, but the, um, I, I feel like my build is a little better because I get those stalkers out before I commit to tech. And because I saw his robo, I'm, I'm making a Stargate. I mean, that's just sort of obvious. And he's getting an observer first. This is super risky. If I were foregating, I, I don't think he could hold it, but um, you, you pretty much have to go immortal first blindly, in my opinion. Um... You know, he didn't see anything in my base that would indicate that he could do that. I suppose, um... He did see the two gateways, so he could know that I'm doing double stalker, which is a tech build, which means that I probably won't be attacking, but... Either way. Um... And now that I'm a target building, and I know he's going robo, I'm going to expand. Um... Expansion timings are tricky in PvP, and it's taking me a long time. I'm still really trying to figure it out, but um, what I've found is that after you start your, your tech route, whether it's Robo, Twilight, or Stargate, that's about when you can expand uh, and, and expand safely. So he is making Immortals. Uh, his Observer sees a Stargate, and all of a sudden he thinks, crap, I can't go Colossus. If he were going Colossus, he'd be ahead because this Robo is so early. If we were both going Colossus, but as it is, he has to get more gateways, he has to get a Twilight Council and get Blink. That just screws with his entire build right now. He he needs to completely abandon the Robotics Facility units right now, basically. Uh, and the benefit of my Phoenix opening is with the first Phoenix, I can scout everything he's doing. Everything. Um... I mean, this is, like, Phoenix openings just give you the best scouting, I think. I can just see everything. I don't have to worry about observers getting sniped. I just fly around with Phoenixes, and they're not going to die because they're super fast. 
Now my expo is up. His is not. Uh, he wants to move out a little bit. And I didn't notice that. So, bam, time for harassment. Here we come, taking out probes, uh, lifting a few too many, um, wasting all my energy. <laughs> so that's a little less than good, but um, at this point I can run away and I'm totally fine. And now I think, oh crap, I wanted to check what building this is. That's a forge, okay, fine. He needs uh, defenses are on his mineral, his mineral line. Meanwhile, I have expanded. He knows I've expanded. He has no base. Um, so he, is ha he has a really small, gradually shrinking, uh, ticking clock here to attack me. Um, I'm up a base. Um, I, have, I have some good map control. He's just waiting for a cannon before he can move out. And um, he also is getting blink, which is... Uh, he has to do that, or else you know I can just kill all of his probes all, all day long. Um, so what's my follow-up to this, you might ask? Because Phoenixes aren't really a fighting army, they're a harassment army. And this is giving me map control and harassment, sure. Um, and actually a, a good amount of it, but they're also giving me plenty of scouting. I actually can see the Dark Shrine up here. So my follow-up is going to be Robo. Um... It's, it's pretty logical and simple to, to think about. Um, you know, you're going Phoenixes, you're forcing Blink Stalkers, or, I guess, two Stargate Phoenix, but that's pretty rare and, and an odd type of game. In any event, um, you know, you're forcing those Blink Stalkers, and uh, I'm still roaming around the map looking for hidden expos. Uh, what, what's the like ideal counter for, the, for massed um, Blink Stalkers? It's pretty much tons of immortals, so I like to just go double robo immortal. Straight up, super hardcore, and uh, to be honest, it's actually amazing. And I kind of fly over his army here, not not so ideal. Um, and I do see his army is away from his base, though, and I'm going to go back and kill some probes. Making observer, no problem at all. Probes are dying left and right. Check out the probe count. I have about double the probes, and he's just going for it. He does have a DT, but I croned out my immortal as soon as I saw the Dark Shrine, and I'm actually in no trouble at all. Now, this looks like a small army. Um, it does, I'm going to admit, it does. Uh, here come the immortals, first of all, but they're not going to be out in time, obviously. So, uh, I've got to use my force fields, my zealots. Uh, zealots are really good against robo units, so I, it's hard to go mass stalker against this. And then I'm just going to lift everything. Um, I don't even need to be attacking, I just need to lift. Like, all he can do is target down the phoenixes, but... I just keep lifting, and he just... can't really kill me. <laughs> it's impossible. Um, I have a couple more lifts. And once the uh, double immortals pop out, uh, that's it. This is, like, barely his timing, and he just couldn't quite kill me. And his DT did a little bit of damage. Um, you know, maybe ten probe kills, not bad but I have another base, I'm still way ahead. I'm getting one more observer. I'm just a little worried about the DTs, but uh, there's my Phoenixes, still flying right over his army, but look how much scouting that gives me, it's pretty awesome. And he's going to blink up, try and do some harassment. Um, actually, not a big deal, though. Oh, I get a free uh, Immortal. Uh, not entirely, oh yeah, he does get it, okay. But yeah, I just come in, Two immortals lift half his army. Um, I, that's it. I'm up a base. I have double robo immortal. He can't make any robo units. His gateway units are going to be crap. Um, basically, he can only make like a lot of charge loss or something. But then I can just kill all of his workers, and you know I can easily see that with my phoenixes. I can make a lot of zealots myself. I don't actually need to be making stalkers, and I can actually just switch into a Colossus, even. It's it's really pretty easy, and it's very effective. And um, So, if you see this fast robo, and you actually get to scout that, I definitely encourage fast Stargate. 
if you're in close ground or close air positions, um, no matter what you scout, I think Stargate first is is awesome. And that's a two gate Stargate, and then get another gateway. So that's gonna be it. Pretty short game. Um, I thought it was cool. So that's it. See you next time.